All right, what's happening, Hawk Squad? Horse Hawk once again back into Welcome back to your channel. So today is now time for Report Reaction Day. So Corey Kenshin, one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, has put out a recent video out for calling out YouTube of its BS. Um, racism and favoritism is the video. So I'm ready to jump and see what in the world is going on right now. Um, what does what did YouTube did with Corey? So I'm very interested in seeing what is going on. So Hawk Squad, let's watch, huh? Let's go straight into it. So let's watch. Shout out to you, Corey Kenshin. I'm going to try my best to articulate this video as thoroughly, as plainly, as eloquently as possible. I don't want there to be any lost context. I don't want to just look like I'm coming out of nowhere having a temper tantrum because these things are happening. The allegations I am levying towards YouTube are extremely serious, mm. and I'm taking this video extremely seriously. Mm. YouTube. You guys either play favorites, you are racist, or it's a mix of the two. Mm. These are the three options, YouTube. Which one is it? Here's my proof. I've been doing YouTube a long time, okay? Yes. Yes. I never want to be that guy, oh, it's because I'm black. Oh, these issues are happening because I'm black. There have been certain situations that I looked at kind of funny. I said, hmm. It could be because of that, but nah, I ain't gonna. I don't, I'm not trying to press that. I don't want to build that narrative around my my YouTube channel. Mm. This time, I can no longer let it slide. Mm. This is the situation. August 18th, I uploaded the Mortuary Assistant. A lot of you would know it got age restricted. Oh because really? Because the following video I did, I let you guys know it got age restricted. YouTube didn't tell me why. I saw that all these other YouTubers were playing the Mortuary Assistant, and only my video seemed to be age restricted what? and I looked Seriously? for like an hour two hours I was scrolling all different types of people's video no one else's was age restricted what so I appealed the restriction um hey guys I, I'm not sure why mine got age restricted could you look into this appeal rejected what they doubled Are you down me? the policy team said no Corey your video is restricted for good reason we're not going to tell you why but it's restricted <clears throat> that's our final decision I said, wow. Hmm. Okay. I get with my YouTube rep. I send him an email. Hey, could you look at this? This is some weird stuff going on. Only my video got age restricted. My YouTube rep, who isn't on the policy team, he looked at my video and he said, hey, it could possibly be this part at the end where the woman was battling some depression. And I'm just going to leave it there, lest this video also get age restricted just because I'm talking about it. Mm. So I looked at that part. The first thing I did was try to find other YouTubers who had that part, or at least a part similar. Now Markiplier, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but I just want you to know I have a lot of respect for you, and I didn't mean to drag you into the middle of this. Mm. Your channel just has, happens to be a great reference point because A, you're a really big YouTuber, mm. and B, you're not black. So I can look at your channel, and then I can look at my channel, or look at anyone else's channel, and make sure that the things and the games that you play all that they're enforcing the rules equally to everybody so i go to markiplier's mortuary assistant part three and he had the same situation going on and his video wasn't age restricted oh, so i send wow. the video to my youtube rep i say hey um markiplier has this situation in his video but his isn't age restricted could you send that to the policy team and see what they say about that he said, wow, Corey, uh, that's some astute detective work. Let me uh, send this to them and see what they say. What do you think happened after that? I'll give you a second. They came back and they removed my age restriction. They took it off. After they already rejected what? my appeal, I sent them the clip of Markiplier's video that has the same thing and they removed it. What? Now my YouTube rep, he was excited. He was, oh great, this is awesome. Look, Corey, they took the age restriction off. I said, why? I expected them to triple down and give Markiplier an age restriction too. But they looked at Mark's video and they used that to verify my innocence. Mm. So I send my YouTube rep a lengthy email detailing my feelings about the, the entire situation, feeling like there was some favoritism at play, there was either that or some racism at play, mm. and that I would like to sit down with the policy team and figure out why my video was flagged in the first place. Actually, number one, was it automated or was it a human 
that age restricted in in the first place. Hmm. Number two, who was the human reviewer? Because it's a human reviewer. Once you send submit an appeal, right? Who was the human reviewer that doubled down and rejected my appeal? Number three, why did it take Markiplier's clip in order for them to reverse the decision? My YouTube rep gets back with me. He wants to hop on a call. We get on the phone um, for about 10, 15 minutes, and I tell him. I've been feeling like this for a long time. I've been feeling like every single time that I come back to YouTube, I'm number one trending for a few days and then they right. find some arbitrary issue. They nitpick and they try and find something that they can incriminate me for and try to push me down. You don't believe me? What happened the last time I came back and I was number one trending for like a week? They copyright struck me for a video that was in 2019 I or something that like that. Why don't these issues that. ever crop up when I'm not uploading? I mean, I, I'm not on YouTube like nine months out of the year. Hmm. Nothing ever happens until I come back and I start uploading again and I'm getting my numbers. They're climbing. They're exploding. Right. Right. I'm number one trending. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, hey, we need to stop him. We need to, hey, this black man, he's getting too many views. He's, he's getting too much exposure, too much activity. Hold that thought. Let's get back to the current situation. So my YouTube rep assures me he's going to continue this dialogue with the policy team and try to get some answers to those three questions that I had. So another day, another two days go by. And what do you know? You got age restricted again. They re-age restricted. What the app? What the actual hell, man? They re-age restricted the video. I say no way did they do that. I go to Markiplier's video now, and now his video is age restricted. Wow. They got caught with their pants down. They got called out, and then they had to go back and say, oh, whoa, 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 okay. We see the narrative that he's kind of pushing here. We need to take some steps back. We need to just age restrict them both and be done with it. You thought that I wasn't going to, like, talk about this make a video about it you realize how bad this looks for you youtube yes you realize how unfair this comes across i in all my years have never seen a video get age restricted de age restricted and then age restricted again have have any of you ever seen that happen no before? Never. they saw that i saw that there was some unfair stuff going on so then they tried to appease me by de-age restricting the video i say wait why are you doing that because i sent markiplier's clip and then they say oh okay well let's just age restrict them both why is my channel so much more heavily scrutinized than my peers my peers and when i say peers i mean people around my level around my view count mm -hmm. just to keep it simple why is my channel so much more thoroughly scrutinized especially so when I've been number one trending multiple days in a row, which I've done multiple times. And every single time I start to get an uptick in traction, an uptick in activity, you, here comes YouTube coming through. Hey, uh, 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 let's get him for that video from 2019. Yeah, you, you see this, Corey? No, this is bad. It wasn't bad the nine months that I was off the platform. It was only bad when I got back and I was number one trending. This situation was only bad because I've been number one trending since I got back. Every other YouTuber has uploaded the Mortuary System. And now they're about to start putting in some age restrictions because I called them out on some unfair behavior. Hmm. Now I realize that when you call someone a racist, that's a very, very serious accusation. It is. And for that matter, how do you expressly prove that someone is a racist? I mean, unless they're spamming the N-word in the chat. How, how do you really know? And admittedly, I cannot 100% prove that race had everything to do with this. But I can tell you the people on that policy team, those shadow people that are anonymous and get to enact their will however they see fit, how can we be sure that they take a black person's video and a white person's video and it can be the same exact video and they restrict the black person's video but not the white person's video? I feel I've been mistreated for a long time. I mean, even when we hit 10 million subscribers and I was supposed to get my diamond play button and no one, there was no correspondence. These situations always coincide with an uptick of growth 
and it always just comes off like we can't let this black guy get too high up I mean if I'm wrong I'm wrong I'm telling you that's how it comes off I don't see any other youtuber that gets number one trending many times and then all of a sudden they're getting age restricted and they're getting copyright strikes and all of that if I'm wrong I'm wrong point them out I want to see them I'll retract this entire video I'll make a public apology to YouTube I have no problem my dad taught me if you make a mistake be a man and address it and apologize right. I will do that no problem but to me you know what it comes off it comes off whenever Corey Kenshin starts doing some crazy numbers or, or getting on trending too much we got to find some we got to get him for something it's got he's got to have done something I mean I bleep out cuss words in video games mm -hmm. like I, I I literally this is the this is the youtuber that you want to have smoke with and have problems with I believe there is some racism involved within the policy team and YouTube in general really doesn't care about black people like that um, they got their favorite creators you know log out of YouTube log out and go to YouTube you'll see the people on the front page every single day you'll see the favorites count how many are black count how many are of people of color so then what does YouTube try and do they try and peddle YouTube black they try and give us a spotlight and do you know how condescending and patronizing that is mm. Oh, yeah, let's give a spotlight to these black creators because we're all about diversity. All this communicates is black people aren't good enough on their own skill, on their own merits, on their own talent. So we got to give them a spotlight. We got to come down and raise them up so they can get some spotlight action. Well, how about you save all that YouTube black, all that fake patronage, all that fake pandering that you guys do. And when you have a black creator coming to you repeatedly saying, why am I being treated differently than other creators? And then you come back and, oh, we got to de age restricted. And then, oh, no, we got to, we got to, he's on to us. Okay, we got to age restrict them both. Fake! Mm. It's fake. That's what it is. Yes. I am deeply sorry that this came off as a rant. You know, in the beginning, I wanted to keep my emotions out of it. I wanted to stay logical, stay on the things that I could prove. I gave you the facts, but it also turned into me venting the emotions that I've had built up around YouTube. Ironic that I have to upload this on YouTube, but where else am I gonna upload it? Right. You know, I worked hard. I, I built this community from the ground. Mm -hmm. It's taken me over a decade yes. to do. Do the right thing, man. And I would have just hoped that the playing field was fair and that hey if I did something bad then everybody else who also did that thing should get punished too is that unreasonable I have no problem being punished I have no problem if I break a rule that I get punished for it and I learn but when you start like when it's targeted when you're doing things only because I'm like getting bigger or I don't know how it always seems to coincide with that situation but that's just what it is now if my YouTube channel gets shadow banned or they like you know they start like not sending my videos out to my subscribers or or you know in a couple months from now y'all just stop seeing my videos we know why hmm. we know why I mean those shadows behind the scenes they control it all they control all of it if they don't want if they don't want my channel they could terminate it right now they could hide my videos they could shadow ban me not send my videos out to anybody that's why I thought long and hard before I recorded this but as one of the biggest black creators on the platform yes I want you to hear it from my mouth yes that there is some shady business going on behind the scenes at YouTube <sighs> Wow, man. Ooh, wow. Holy crap. Holy crap, man. Really heavy stuff there. Really heavy stuff. What a way to end that. Wow. Yeah, you two... You two need to do freaking better. My God. This is some... This was some crazy-ass stuff, man. Crazy-ass stuff. Um, wow. I'm, I'm glad I saw this video, y'all. I'm so glad. Like, for myself, 
I'm not much of a YouTuber for myself. I I reached about 100 subscribers. Yeah, sure, but I'm not like a big, big YouTuber. But I need to watch this because it's just like, wow, dude. They they shady as hell. They shady as hell for this. Wow, they shady as hell for this. Like, wow. I don't, I don't know what to say, man. That's just like, that's that's devastating. That's absolutely devastating to, to, to see this, man. It's devastating that they did, they did court catch like this. So there you have a hot squad. That was my reaction to Corey Kenshin's racism and favorism. And wow, man, what a, what a video. What a video, man. What a video. I'm glad Corey called YouTube out on the ball, on the BS, man. Seriously. They really deserve to call, call, get caught off for this because they... I can't believe they actually really did that. I mean, they really freaking did that. Wow. Like, Corey's right. YouTube is... They could be having some shady ass crap. They be have some shady ass crap in their um in their company, man, and it's just unbelievable how they is right now. Seriously, seriously, man. I mean, Corey spoke the truth, man. I have to admit, you know, like I said, I'm not much of a big YouTuber. I do reactions, sure. I do some unboxings, whatever. But hey, look, who knows? In the future, I'm might do something different. Who knows? But yeah, man, it's just like wow, freaking hell, dude. Just freaking hell. That's this this. Wow, man, this this was a lot of take in, a lot of take in, man, because this is a, nothing but a damn truth. So I'm glad I saw this, you know, and it, it's a struggle. It, it's it's just been a struggle. So Hot Squad, thank you for joining me for this reaction to Corey Kenshin's favorite um, racism and favoritism. I will do my reactions more this week. I'm gonna have a lot coming up. I just want to go ahead and get this reaction in, and I just came from work and I'm really tired. I won't do more reactions today, but. I have, you know, Tuesday and Friday coming up. I'll be off, and then I'll be doing more reactions. But I really want to do this reaction. I want to see, you know, what was going on with Corey's channel. Like, why he's getting this. Why is he getting this? So, I'm glad I saw this. So, Hot Squad, thank you for joining me today for this reaction. If you like this, please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share your thoughts about it. And for all you new subscribers, I mean, well, new viewers, by the way, if you haven't um, subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. I got, you know... You know, I got reactions. I got unboxing things sometimes. But like I said, but yes, I got a bunch of reactions to do every week. So, please, subscribe to me for your sake. And Hot Squad, this is Taurus Hawk signing off for today. And I'll see y'all later this week for more reactions. Safe out the sky. Peace out. And have a great Labor Day weekend if, if I do not do more reactions. So, peace out.